Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install and play Super Mario War on your PS Vita. So I believe this is like a homebrew game, which is actually for computers, but it has actually recently been ported over to PS Vita, maybe like two or three days ago, I believe. So if you guys want to get this, what you want to do is just go ahead and open up a Vita shell. Then you need to press select, go and connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Over on your computer, I will leave a link to Super Mario War in the description of this video and it says here this is a beta version so if there are any glitches and um, the game could possibly freeze you can um, press R and it will crash and um, you will get a core dump and um, you can actually send it to him on GitHub so he can see what the error is. So keep in mind, this might have some errors. But you can read the description. Super Mario War is a Super Mario multiplayer game. And then what you have to do is stomp on the other Mario's heads. So if you guys want to get this, all you want to do is just go to the download link down here. That will bring you to the Vita DB page. And we actually want to download two files. We want to download the VPK, so just click on this button. And we also want to download the data files. So once we have got these two files downloaded, what we want to do is just go to our downloads folder and find them make sure our PS Vita is connected the VPK can just be dragged and dropped on the root of your PS Vita with the data files right click the zip file select extract here and we need to put this file folder inside of our PS Vita's data folder so just drag and drop that across and now we just need to wait a few seconds for it to copy across so once it has finished copying across, that is it for our computer. They were the only files we needed. So now we can go back onto our PlayStation Vita and I'll show you guys what the game's like. Okay, so once we are back, let's go and install the VPK file, which is on our UXO. So let's just scroll all the way down. Here it is, Super Mario World VPK. Press X, X again, and then it should start installing. So it should install very fast. Just give it one second. And then once it's done, let's close out of Vita Shell and look for the app on my home screen. So I haven't really played this game before. I'm guessing this version is slightly different than the PC version. But let's just go and start it up. Okay, so here we are on the game. We actually have an FPS counter up here. Right now it's on 27.9, so about 30 FPS. Um, I think the game is still loading, so let's just wait for that. Okay, so what we can do is we can set the players as bots. And we can just go on to go and press X, I believe. Okay, so what we have to do here is choose our team. Let's choose red. And then you just press circle for start. So this does actually have music. I just checked. Um, it's the like Mario Bros music, so I'm going to have to mute it. But as you can see, I'm playing as Pikachu and I just died. What you have to do is stomp on each other's heads um, to win. So let's try. And um, oh, that was bad. I don't know what difficulty the bots are on, but um, they're actually destroying me right now. But it's actually um, a bit better than I thought. This controls are actually really smooth. So it's kind of like um, oh, that, that like DS mini game on Mario Bros. I think I haven't played it in years. I last played it probably about 10 years ago. That's why I can't remember what it is. But yeah, it looks like a pretty playable game. It's actually better than I expected. Now it's actually running off this engine. So if you touch the touch screen, you will notice we've got a small mouse here. What we can actually do is alter the graphics and stuff like that. And we can turn shaders on and um, yeah it's a pretty cool little menu this is actually very similar um, to the Zelda menu and I believe the game has actually just crashed so that's what he was talking about if you press hold R I think yeah the game will crash and it's going to save so yeah this game could be very glitchy keep that in mind I think there's going to be more updates coming out Okay, so also in the menu, we've got start, we've got players. If you press X on this, you can alter players. So you can put bots, um, you can put none on there, you can put player. I'm just going to keep them all as bots. We've also got options where you can change tons and tons of stuff in here, even the item settings. So it's really kind of like Smash Bros. Let's just go back. And then we've also got exit. We don't want to quit. So let's just go on go right here. And I believe we can change... Oh, we can change characters by pressing down. So... We've got Rob the Robot. I don't know what most of these characters are. Metroid. Not sure what that one is. Um, Shy Guy on here. That's quite cool. Now this could possibly be on the PSP as well. So I will actually have to have a look for that. And um, yeah, this game is actually not too bad. So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.